I kept giving people a lot of side eye. So I think she is going to cause a little bit of drama. Chloe, isn't it? Yeah, she seems like she, there's no Fs given there. It's great watching for us, but to all the women in there, there's going to be a few claws coming out, I can, uh, I can tell. Hi, we're Nathan and Cara. And we are playing a text on the beach from Cosmopolitan UK. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to see lots more content just like this. I've got a text. Do I watch Love Island every year? Weird fact, I actually haven't watched any Love Islands, not even one that I was on, and I can't ever watch it because it just stresses me out. But I think this year it's been five years since the show. I've got two kids. I'm 30 now. I'm far away enough from the girls that I think I can actually enjoy it. What do you miss? most about being in the villa. I just love being around everyone. It was six weeks of so much laughter. So I think for me, obviously I'm 31 now, I miss being a 25 year old, young, free, single, in the villa, surrounded by amazing people, amazing weather, and just the experience of having that time. It was, yeah, it was pretty magical. And you're never gonna get that again. Who do you think will cause the most drama this season? We're at the beginning of the series, so we don't really know anyone yet, but Faye kept giving people a lot of side eye, so I think she is gonna cause a little bit of drama. Chloe, innit? Yeah, she seems like she, there's no Fs given there, and I just think what she wants, she will grab with two hands. It's great watching for us, but to all the women in there, there's gonna be a few claws coming out, I can uh, I can tell. Do you think there'll be any shock twists this season? I mean, come on, it's Love Island. I think this year, obviously, we didn't have Love Island last year. So I do think that this year has got to be bigger and better than any other year. But I think we're all just really happy to have it back, that even if it doesn't, we'll still all love it. Are there any surprising behind the scenes secrets that fans don't know about? Yes, there's a few. We get beach days, let her hair down, go to the beach with all the lads, but uh, women and the lads go separately so you can't like talk and you ain't got no mics on so you can't like plot any twists or do anything like that. So yeah, beach days, they were pretty spectacular. Okay, so one thing which I just thought was really funny because obviously you never see Love Islands eat dinner. So basically when you have dinner, that's when your microphone batteries get changed and you're not allowed to talk to each other really because obviously if you say something that should be on screen because it's linked to something before, you get told off if you talk. So that's why you never see Love Islands is eating dinner. How do you think this year's contestants compare to your year? Well, I think our year, we didn't really know what we was getting ourselves into. This year's, they know what's going to come off the back of it. I think it's spoiled the show a little bit, because um, people know what they can get off the back of it when we didn't really have a clue. Do you know what? This year, I actually think they're a little bit more similar to our year. I don't think I've said that for a couple of years, not that I've been that involved in it, but from what I've seen, like people's followings or connections to the show already and things like that. And it seems like this lot, when you look at their Instagram, they've all got like a normal amount of followers and things like that. So I think this year, they all seem a little bit more normal in a good way. So I think, yeah, they're, yeah, it could be quite an interesting show. What do you think of the debate around the show's lack of diversity? Well, personally, I've said it all along that they should have normal people on there. Built from building sites, hair salons. And I think that's where you get the most personality. Me as a viewer and you guys as well, we just like to relate to normal people. So I do think there's got to be a bit more diversity. Girls that look like us, boys that look like that Nathan. I think there's so much pressure on girls wanting diversity, but I think it's important for boys as well to see guys that actually look like them because they get a bit sensitive as well. Who are you in touch with from your series of Love Island? Obviously, I'm married to Nathan, so I'm pretty in touch with him. Um, be a little bit awkward if I wasn't. We speak to Scotty Thomas quite a lot. Obviously, he was at our wedding. Raya Card, we're really close with him. He's from Kent, like us, so we see him quite a lot, and he was at our wedding. Katie, I talked to. Olivia, obviously, we're in contact with her, and Alex. Yeah, I think everyone's lives have changed so much. Obviously, from our series, me and Nathan, we're married, got kids, so everything changes, really. What's your favourite Love Island saying? Probably mugging you off or saying, yeah, he's definitely mugging you off. So that's probably something that I use day to day with Nathan and tell him not to mug me off, so. Yeah, probably that one. From what you've seen, who do you think is going to win Love Island this year? 
So this year, I'm a little bit, not confused, but I think every year when it started, you sort of seen who was gonna win. Like series three, I think you could tell that like Kem was gonna be a front runner. With this one, I can't really tell. I think Brad is really popular, but then I think Jake's a really nice geezer as well. I like Liberty, but I don't think any of these people are gonna stick together, not in a bad way. I just don't think there's that couple that are in it for the like the long run yet. What advice do you have for the new Islanders? Just don't take yourself too seriously. Go in there, have fun. It's like six weeks, seven weeks of you will have the time of your life. Be yourself. If you're putting a game or a front up, you will get found out. So just be yourself, enjoy it, and will whatever be, will be. I think enjoy it, it goes so quick. When you come out, embrace every single opportunity that you get given because you meet and do some amazing things. And also, save your money because it doesn't last forever and the tax man is always behind you. Thanks so much for watching. And let us know your comments below.